Hello guys. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create an AWS architectural diagram like this. So you never know, you might have to create one of these at work. So if you're ever wondering how to create one, I'll show you how to create it in this tutorial. I'm going to minimize this and go to Google. In Google, type AWS architectural icons and press enter. And you should see the AWS architecture icons here or look for it in your search results. I'm going to select it. And on this page, scroll down. And down here, you have different tools you can use to create your diagram. The one that I use is this draw.io. I'm going to select AWS library to open it. And once you click it, it's going to open this. To start creating your architectural diagram, all you have to do is in here, for example, I'm trying to build my VPC with all my resources in it. So in here, the first thing I'm going to type is AWS region. And I'll press enter. And it will give you all these different results for AWS region. I'll select this one and it will put it in here. So all I did is I just clicked it and it put it in here. So from here, all you have to do is you can just drag it. I'm going to minimize this so you can see it on the screen. So all you have to do is just drag it like that. So you can select any end and drag it. So make it to the size you want. And that's what you do for that. The next thing we are going to create is our VPC. So again, I'm going to go in here. I'll type AWS VPC. And it is giving me all these results. I want to use this VPC. I'm just going to click it once and it is going to put it in your canvas. Again, all you have to do is drag it. So what I do is I kind of use the grid to set everything. So make sure you are using the grid if you need help making everything proportional. So I'll put it like this for the VPC. And the next thing I need to do is create my availability zone. So in here, I'll type AWS availability zone. And it is giving me this results. I'm going to click this again to put it in there. And I'm going to drag this like that and drag this back here. So once you select it, just click on those points and drag it. So you can do something like this. And let me zoom in a little bit so you see it better. Okay, something like that. And for every one of this diagram, you can select it. And if you need to change the color, for example, or the line weight, you can do everything in here. So for everything you put on your screen, you can edit it on this right side. So you have text, you have arrange, you can edit everything here. Now I have my availability zone. Another thing you can do is because I need two availability zone, I can select this availability zone, right click and select duplicate. And it is going to create another copy of it. And I'm just going to move it to this side. So now I have my two availability zones. The next thing I'm going to create is my public subnet. I'm going to type public subnet here. Press enter. And it is giving me this result for the public subnet. I'll select it once. It's going to put it there. And I'm just going to move it somewhere here. So you can drag it back a little bit. And that is good. So now what I can do is select it. Right click, duplicate, and move it to this side. The next thing I want to create is a private subnet. So I'm going to type private subnet in here. Press enter and I'm going to click it. And I think at this point you get the gist. So I'm going to move it there. I'll use the grid to line it up and I'm going to maybe pull it back a little bit right there. I'm going to select duplicate and move it down here. And I'm going to duplicate and move this back here. I'm going to duplicate 
and move it back here and you can always adjust it as you want for example i can take this just to make everything look good i can drag this back in here and do the same thing here and i'll do the same thing here and i'll do the same thing here the next thing we can do is add our resources so for example i can select ec2 type ec2 in there and you'll see all this option you can click more results and i want to use this i'll select it it will put it there and i'm just going to put it in there like that and to change the size and different property of this for example if i click on this left side i can change the color see now the color is blue but i'll change it back to orange so everything you do in here is customizable then i'm going to duplicate it i'm going to duplicate it and move it here and the next thing I want to create is a NAT gateway. I'm going to type NAT gateway in here. And I'm going to select that. And again, I'm going to move it in here. To make this smaller, all you have to do is click any of this edge and drag it down. And you should get something like that. And you can duplicate it and move it here. Something like that is good. Next, we are going to create our database here. So type RDS in there. Then I'm going to select any of this. I'll use this. And again, I'll just put it here, drag it down. Something like that and put it here. So once you have it, duplicate it and put it up here. And the next thing we can do is create an internet gateway and put it here. I'm going to type internet gateway in here. I'm going to press enter and I'll use this. I'm just going to click it and minimize it a little bit and drag it and put it here. The last thing I want to show you is to add text. Click on this arrow drop down and select text. And it is going to put your text in here and you can change the text property up here. So for example, I'm going to change the font. And you can change the font type make it something uh, maybe 26 is too big i'll make it maybe like 18. then in here for example i'll type ec2 and i'm going to move it here duplicate it and bring it down here and you can pretty much do the same thing for this you can duplicate the text put it here and rename it and for the lines if you want to add a line to show the relationship going from this ec2 to this NAT gateway all you have to do is select it and you should see this little blue arrow if you click it it is going to give you that arrow so what i'm doing now is i'm holding it and i'm just going to touch the other resource that i want to connect it to so once you touch it it is going to connect it there and you can always move this line as you want to adjust it and once you select the line you can make it bigger here you can change the color of that line so everything is customizable um, you can change the arrow type and for this i'm just going to leave it at one and i'm going to make it black so i just make that black like that and this is how you create that arrow so again i can select this one move that arrow and touch this and you can move it around how you want and this is pretty much how you create an aws architecture diagram once you are done creating your architecture to save it select file and select save as and you have all these different options to save it as i'm going to first name it i'll call it vpc and i want to save it on my computer so i'm going to select device and browse to the location where you want to save it i'll save it on my desktop i'll give it a name and click save so i've saved it and to export your architecture as an image select file again and come to export as and select the format you want to export it to i'll select jpeg and select export and i'll choose where i want to export it to 
To export it to your computer, select device. And there you go, it has exported to my computer. This is how you create an AWS architecture diagram. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.